right, the tool for this lesson is the famous word reference. You may know word reference and you may use it in your computer when you're writing an email or when you need to, to look a word up, but you may not know there is a, an app that is totally free and it works for both iPhone and Android. And it is also super reliable, so you can trust it. We'll see what are the basics of the word reference and then what are the dictionaries that you may want to use. So pause the video and download the app. Now let's see what are the basics where we have to start with word reference. So if you go to the top corner on the left, you see that I have already my favorite dictionaries, but that's because I put them there. So how can you put yours? You go to todos los diccionarios, all dictionaries, you click on that option and then you look for English and there you have all the dictionaries, English to Arabic to Chinese. So just go and find both Spanish English and English to Spanish. If you click on this start right here, that will add your dictionary to your favorite dictionaries. So this will be there in the menu and good thing, if you want to make things easier for you, you can click on the pencil here and you will see that you can move around and edit the order as you wish. Now, I know I have different types of dictionaries, but first just do English and Spanish and Spanish English. And I will tell you about the other dictionaries later. What happens when you are all the time forgetting the same word? It's like, I know this word, but I'm always forgetting it. Or you just learn a new word and you know, you need to, you want to save it and you don't want to forget about it. You don't have a notebook, you don't have pen and, pen and pencil. Uh, you can go to your notes if you want, but I recommend you to look the word up here and save it in your favorite words, favorite terms. How can we do this? Super easy. We go to the dictionary. So for example, I there is one word I don't use enough times and I should that is threshold. Threshold means umbral or something like it's the limit of something, right? Now, how can I add this word to my favorite words? Super easy. Just go and click to the start right here. This is start on top. That's the favorite dictionary. But this is tab that's yellow, that's favorite word. So if I go to the menu, favorite terms, you'll see that the threshold there is added. Now, what are the things that I like and that I don't like about this? Good thing is you can share it and you can send it to yourself, to WhatsApp, to the email, whatever you want. And that's an easy way to have a list of words already done for you. You don't have to be writing all the time, okay? It, the list is already done for you. The bad thing though, the thing that I wish word reference would improve is the order of the terms. This is the fixed order. Can you see there how I have different um, words, French, English, Spanish, everything's mixed. The only option that word reference gives you is the alphabetical order. And that's it. You cannot create folders. You cannot create different types of lists depending on the purpose or the language. And that is a downside, but it's still super useful. Now, what happens if 
you have looked up a word and you didn't save it because you didn't think it was necessary or because you forgot about it but there's like oh the other day I looked up this word and now I need to look it up again or what was it I forgot the word but I didn't save it so how can I go and find it easy búsquedas recientes recent researches and you have it there again these are not necessarily my favorite words but the words that I've looked up and the same you can add them and you can share and or send them to you to yourself or you can put them in alphabetical order. Now that's the basics of word reference. Let's see now what other dictionaries not only translating you can add to your favorite ones and let me tell you it will be super super useful. Word reference is not only a translator from one language to the other. It will also help you, especially in English, with some other issues with the language. So depending on the purpose or the problem or the word that you want to look up, you will need a different dictionary. Let me tell you about four types of dictionaries that you can have in word reference and how to use them and why they will be beneficial for you. First dictionary, synonyms super useful. Why? Just imagine you're writing an essay or a document of some type and you're writing about computers. So you have to use a lot the word computer, right? But you don't want to be saying computer, computer, computer all the time. So you look up computer here you have PC, you have laptop, you have desktop, but um, okay, you're not sure if they mean exactly the same thing. Then the second dictionary that you want is English definitions. You go there to the top and you look that synonym, laptop. Okay, laptop is a portable microcomputer, small enough to rest on the lap. That's why it's called laptop, okay? This is the lab, and then you have the computer. What's the third dictionary? That's usage of English, English usage. When to use this one is super helpful when our intuition is not working. Basically, when we know a word, or we sort of know a word, but we're not sure how to use it. We don't know when to place it in a sentence, it's not about the meaning, it's just we're not sure if it goes before or after a word. Imagine we have rather. So here you have all the possible ways of using rather. This dictionary is especially useful for linking words and verbs. See here, all of them would rather fourth and last dictionary the one about collocations English collocations what is a collocation a collocation is a combination of words that go together it can be something as obvious as open the door or close the door that is a collocation why? Because you don't say, for example, turn on the, the door or turn off the door, right? Because the door cannot be turned on or off. It can be only open or it can be closed, but you turn on the lights or you turn off the lights. Or it can be not as obvious as, how do you say it? Make my bed or do my bed, right? So the collocation, the right collocation is make my bed. If we're not sure about these sort of things or if we need to expand our vocabulary and we're learning, for example, the word door or the word bed, it's better to put them in sentences. So this dictionary is going to give you those sentences. For example, I'm going to put bed, I'm going to write bed, and 
can you see there how you have, for example, okay, twin beds? What number 13? What are you what are you still doing in bed? Okay, that's what a mom would tell to the kid. Or honey, are you coming to bed? Or get out of bed. And so forth. Put the children to bed. Why is this helpful? Because it it makes your English sound more natural. This is the natural language. English is a lot about collocations, so you may want to take a look at this dictionary. What is one disadvantage or something that I just don't like about word reference is that here, as you can see in my favorite dictionaries, I don't have the English conjugator dictionary because I don't think it's necessary. English conjugation is super easy. I do use it for French though. And then if we go here to these tabs, you will see that not all of my favorite dictionaries are in there for me to click on fast and efficiently. And I have the English conjugator, which I would rather not have in it. That is one downside about this app, but I mean, it's a minor thing and more references are still giving you a lot of options and a lot of resources. What are some extra things about this application? For sure, the pronunciation. You can listen to it. Bed. You can read if you know how to interpret the symbols, the phonetic symbols. And if, you ha if you're curious about one specific word in a specific country and how it is pronounced, for example, in the UK, the US, South Africa, Jamaica, or any other country, you have here so many options you can look at. More extra things. If you scroll down, you will see some links. Some of these links will lead you to a forum where people ask questions and other people answer them. There are discussions about expressions, about a word, about how to use something. So if you end up not finding something, you can always go to the forum and ask. And then something that is also super useful is the word of the day. I click on here.